What makes a face recognizable? An unexpected outcome of plastic surgery sets the stage for another energizing morning prayer time. Plastic surgery in South Korea is so good that people traveling home afterwards need certificates to prove who they are. A growing number of Chinese medical tourists go to South Korea for high quality plastic surgery. It's a booming industry complete with travel packages and in some cases post-surgery safari trips to Africa where people can heal. If they can make it past airport officials, that is. Chinese patients have had difficulty re-entering their home country because their passport photos no longer match their new face. These plastic surgery patients, no doubt, are hoping to come out of the operation looking a bit different and a lot better. But most had not anticipated looking so different that they are now unrecognizable. And so hospitals had to scramble to create a solution, handing out plastic surgery certificates to enable patients to go home. Those patients have been advised to update their passports immediately with their new face. God has a special message for us today about faces. So let's dive into the Word of God, led by the Spirit of God, and we'll use the Lord's Prayer as our guide to energize us with praise and purpose and peace and purity. Let's pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. When I awake, I will see your face and be satisfied in your presence and in your righteousness. Let's take a moment to close our eyes and see the face of God giving him praise for who he is and thank him for what he's done. May your kingdom come and your will be done. Lord, it is your will that we tell someone to their face if we believe they've done something that is very wrong. Let's take a moment and ask the Lord if there's someone he wants us to have a difficult conversation with to their face. Give us this day our daily bread. Lord, help me not to let my needs and problems crush my spirit, but instead give me a glad heart, which makes a happy face. And let's take a moment and give our needs and problems to God and ask Him for a glad heart and a happy face. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, you turn your face against those who do evil, but your eyes watch over those who do right, and you hear their prayers. Let's take a moment and confess any sin that would cause God to turn his face away from us and ask him for a heart to do what is right. Thank you for this time, Lord, to energize us with praise as we see your face in your presence, and with purpose as we commit to having difficult conversations with people to their face, and with peace as we give our needs and problems to you and ask you for a glad heart and a happy face, and with purity as we confess any sin that would cause you to turn your face away from us and ask you for a heart to do what is right. For yours, Lord, is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. If you want a transcript of today's prayer or email updates of future prayers, just click the link below or go to lordsprayerday.com.